Sam here. Welcome to another episode of Walks of World. I've taken a detour from my driving and uh, walking, and I'm now uh, heading up the Dempster Highway. This is uh, part two of my Dempster Highway video that uh, starts um, near Dawson City in northern Yukon and goes all the way up into the northern territories to Inuvik, beyond which I'm going to go to Tuktoyaktuk, right on the shore of the Arctic Ocean. I'm here at the Eagle Plains Lodge. Stayed here last night. Really nice place. Um, got in just in time for dinner and I had a great breakfast this morning, so I'm feeling refreshed. As you can see, it is quite desolate out here um, as we literally approach the Arctic. just passed a sign that said uh, no stopping on the road here and the reason for that is it's an emergency um, airstrip landing for you know planes that for whatever reason have an emergency and have to land because there's a bit of a straightaway here so I won't be stopping. now officially in the Arctic Circle. Right on the perimeter of it, just crossed into it. Latitude 66 degrees, 33 north, I think if I'm <laughs> reading that correctly. Thank God for the satellite phone. Otherwise, it would, you know, there was there's an Airbnb up in Tuktoyaktuk and uh, I would have had no way of contacting them if it wasn't for the satellite phone that I was renting. The Arctic! The glory! The glory! Right, let's press on down the road. It's beautiful mountain snow. Bob's your uncle. Just unbelievable. Whew, it's just, it's incredible. It's just incredible. It's the most prominent rainbow I've ever seen. No, I, I live in uh, California at the moment. I'm just uh, driving up north to go to Tuktoyaktuk, see the Arctic Ocean, do some adventures, then head on back, yeah. <laughs> All right, just got some new uh, engine oil. It was low on oil. But uh, I think I'm gonna still make it to Inuvik tonight, it looks like it at least. Remember how I said I was going to Inuvik tonight? Yeah, that's not happening. I called ahead and all their hotels are booked, which surprised me, but that was the case. So I'm staying here in Fort McPherson. Um, 
at this nice lodge. All the stores and everything in this really small town close at 6 p.m. So there's actually a time jump ahead one hour when you cross into the Northwest Territories. I didn't know that. Luckily, there was a store at the end of the road. I think it was called Gas Slash Food, something simple like that. And uh, there was still someone in the store, even though it was closed. So I walked in, explained to them my situation. They were super nice, and they let me buy some snacks and supplies because uh, I was going to do that tomorrow, but I had nothing to eat. Alrighty, it's uh, the morning, Friday, October 7th, 2022. I'm gonna get moving. Uh, stayed at Inns North here at uh, McPherson, Fort McPherson. Uh, nice relaxing place. They're actually upgrading and next year they're gonna have a restaurant here, so it's gonna be great. Just wanted to point out to you guys, because of snow and weather, a lot of buildings in this small town, the entrances are elevated um, up, you know, stairs or like kind of like metal, you know, walkways to be above the snow and the ice and the mud. So I found that kind of interesting. Standing in the middle of the road, there's no cars. It is a dirt path through Arctic tundra. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Ho ho. Woo. Ho. Ho. Well, let's walk back to the car. Time to hit the road.